Hey, it's Pretzel Lovers, Mark and Todd here at Whole Latte Love. This hour, we're live streaming all day on the hour. This hour, we're taking a look at some uh, semi-automatic machines. Prosumers. Right. Some prosumer yeah. level machines. Um, again, we'll be going all day long. Before we get into these, take a real quick look at what we're going to be going through today. Uh, give you an idea if you want to tune in later, or you might be watching these a couple months from now. Who knows? Uh, but just in case, know that these are available. Um, earlier, we did some uh, automatic machines. Uh, coming up at 11, something really cool, flow control, which we'll touch on just a little bit. We do have the Pro 700 with flow control here. Uh, we'll talk about some of our accessories later, some pour-over equipment. Uh, we'll have uh, some baristas in showing in how they dial in on some of the grinders that we have. The little educational stuff is nice. Yes, it is. Uh, we'll do a little, we'll take a look at some cupping. Um, and then our, we're going to finish up with, we're going to have a, like a little race. So you can get a semi-automatic and a super automatic set up and run right out of the box and first. And brewing. Set and up and brewing. brewing. And brewing. <laughs> so that's going to be really cool. But So what we're going to take a look <clears throat> at in this segment, uh, some grinders. So I've got the Barazza Sete 270WI. And then we, what do you have over there? Yeah, the Chato E6P and the E37SQ by Chato. Yeah, I really like that one. And I really like we this one. We kind of really like them all. Yeah. yeah, we really do. <laughs> that's why they're here. Uh, we're also going to talk about wood accents on a couple of rocket machines here. Something really cool with that. I've got an R58 dual boiler, uh, the Apartamento, uh, nice machine for an apartment size. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then what have you got? You got the uh, uh, Provitech Pro 700. It's a dual boiler. Dual boiler, and we have a Provitech Pro 800 lever machine. Oh, going old school. Going old school. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So Todd, why don't you take it first, and we'll go through the Pro 700. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, dual boiler machine, stainless steel boilers. A uh, lot to offer on this machine. That's, we'll start up top here. Uh, we'll get into this in a minute. These valves are what they call sprung valves, which are commercial style valves. So when you open the steam valve here, it pulls back on a, a plunger in here and a spring pushes it closed. So you can't cr crank it too tight and damage it. Very easy to open. You're not going to damage the yeah. seal. And that's really nice. So it has that for the hot water and the steam one. And notice these are nice custom made. They fit the machine real nice. Going down here, you have your display for your uh, PID. Now, one thing really nice about that, you notice we're up to around 271 degrees on this. That's Inter Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, <laughs> yes. And it can get up to about two bar of steam pressure. It'll be up there in a minute. That's something uh, we asked Michael at Profit Tech to do, and he did for us. So this is the highest pressure machine you can get for steam. And that's, you can get that also on the Pro 600 and the ECM Synchronica as well, Correct. right? That best yep. in class steaming power. Mm -hmm. And down here, you've got your drip tray, a couple controls down here. If you want to go to water line, you set that to there. That's for water reservoir. You can turn off the steam boiler if you want to, if you don't want to use it to save a little energy. Um, up here, you have the reservoir. Okay. And here's your lever for brewing. When you raise this lever up, it turns the pump on. Here's your water flow. Now, on this machine, we have our flow control device hooked up. So. We'll get into that in the next uh, next segment, next uh, live stream we do. But you can, with this, you can just have a dribble of water come out. You control the flow for your pre-infusion anywhere you want it. And like I say, we'll get into that, but this is a really nice feature. You can get on the ECM Synchronica, the Pro 600 by Profit Tech, the Pro 700, and maybe another machine or two. But yeah. you can check our website. It shows on there what we uh, the machines that you can get it on. We'll have a lot more in that coming up next hour, right? Mm -hmm. yep. yep. So you want to pull a shot? Sure. Okay. I guess that's why we're here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Make some espresso. So okay. E37S. E37S, yep. Notice how it drops the coffee perfectly into the portafilter. It's real nice. Look at the grounds. There's like no clumping. This is a, I have, must admit, it's my favorite grinder. Am I allowed to say that? Uh, sure. Sure. I can, I can, can, I can play a favorite. favorites. <laughs> <laughs> that, now, now that's a full, I mean, that's a commercial grinder. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people will use them at home. Yep. So I'm going to crank this open. This is to the point as if I didn't have it. If you, okay. So you can operate it like you didn't have so it. So this is called an E60 group. This is like an E61 if I didn't have it. You notice the pressure gauge here. That group pressure gauge is nice because you, you're really controlling flow, but you could simulate a pressure profile on yeah. this if you wanted to as You well can monitor the pressure. Watching that. Mm-hmm. I really look forward to the next segment on flow control. Yeah. That'll be fun. And a nice rotary pump so it's nice and quiet. Okay, well, hint at flow control. So okay. if, you, if, if you want this, you can lower the flow. You notice the pressure starts going down also. 
So that's how you brew on these. This, this lever here just controls the pump. And you want, here's your hot water dispenser for dispensing hot water for Americanos or preheating your cups or anything you want to do for that. So why don't, um, why don't I take it over here? We'll take a look at the R58 here and mm -hmm. maybe you can set up for some frothing while I'm doing that. Okay. And um, so I'm gonna grind, so a couple things. So these are wood accented uh, rocket machines. So you notice you got the wood on the knobs, uh, on, the, on the E61 handle and on the porta filters. And check, check out next door, we have an apartmento. It's got the wood paneling on the side. That's an option. We have this, you can get, we have many, many different sorts of panels. You can get this. Um, I really like the wood. This has the wood knobs as, as well. And this is something we do at Whole Latte Love. This yeah. is our own thing we got going. Yeah. And with any, of, when any, with any of the rocket machines that have the wood accents, you're gonna get a couple extras with that. First of all, you'll get a bottomless porta filter with that also, of course, with the wood accent. You're going to get a nanotech, a 22, I believe, gram nanotech basket by Barista Pro. These are really, really nice baskets. Um, I don't know if you can see in there, it's got, it got that rainbow sheen. So that's a quartz coating on there. Really helps keep the basket clean. Also, the holes are re really engineered on that. So those two things are going to come with any of the ro rocket wood accented machines. Um, and then also I have one of my favorites. This does not come with that wood package, but we do have a wood leveler that you can get with that. Is that real wood or does it look like wood? I think it, ju I think it just looks like it. Okay, just so I, I love the level, and I noticed you just used the leveler, right? You have mm -hmm. one over there. Um, I, this is my favorite leveler out there. Um, you don't really have to tamp if you're using one of these. Some people still do. I don't find it necessary, but it's got adjustable depth, and you hear the little click stop. So really easy to adjust the depth on that. Very nice, very slippery surface here, so you can just spin and compress your coffee. But let's pull a shot. I'm gonna get rid of this single here. We'll steal a double from over here. And I'm gonna I'm going to uh, grind on a Barazza Sette 270WI. This is really, I mean, it's an appliance grade grinder, but this thing is incredible. So I'm just gonna turn it on there. It's automatically gonna tear. So this is a weight-based grinder. So you've got three presets here. I've got 10.1 grams, 17, and a triple shot dose of some sort there but I want 17 grams, so just press a button. Tears automatically. And usually you get right within one tenth of a gram of your desired weight. So we got two tenths that time. This grinder, and I had just adjusted the grind on this. As you adjust the grind, it kind of learns. But again, I mean, look, it's just a beautiful grind. Um, so I'm gonna get my leveler here. And you see how easy these are to use. You just put it in and spin. And that's it. You get a nice level distribution in there and all the compression you really need. So we'll lock that in. And yeah, let me get a couple glasses here. We'll see how pretty we can make this. The, so the R58 here, this is a plumbable dual boiler machine. Um, makes a really nice shot. It is PID. And I'll go over that, how that works. It's a little different than some of the other machines. Um, but just makes, I mean, look at the creme on those. That's just beautiful. for a minute okay we'll stop there so like I said the uh, you don't there's no like we saw in your pro 700 you had the PID displayed right on the machine and digital on the rocket it's a separate unit so this can detach and I've talked to Andrew Mio of rocket many times about this um, and he didn't want digital displays on the front of his machines from an aesthetic standpoint so what you can do is you can just take this right off and get rid of it and then you don't have to ever do that. You put that in a drawer or whatever, but you can do all the machine functions on that, you know, your boiler temperature. Something else that Rocket do does that's a little different, rather than give you uh, what you set as the actual in boiler temperature, then you use a chart to kind of figure out what your brew temperature is gonna be up here. Um, on the other machines, if you go over to like the Pro 700 here, it uses an offset in the PID, right? Yes. Um, so you're setting a temperature in the boiler, but then there's an offset setting uh, to get here. It's calculated and it's really pretty accurate and here's yeah. how Rocket does it. Yeah. They give you, if you set uh, your temperatures here, let's say you said your brew brute temperatures are 95 degrees Celsius, you get, uh, I'm sorry, where is it, 226, <laughs> uh, you get 203. So they give you a chart so you can uh, figure out what you want to do that way. Okay. Were you ready to do some frothing over on the Pro 700? 
If you'd like to, sure. I'd love to see that, yeah. Ooh. Because, <laughs> again, the Pro 700, the uh, Proftex Pro 600, and the ECM Synchronica all come with best in class. Um, steaming power up to two bars in the boiler, which is where we're at right now on the Pro 700. Yeah. Are you going to treat us uh, maybe a latte art pour as well? Yeah, love doing it live, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, why not? We'll give it a I shot. I always love to put you on the spot. So on a dual boiler machine, mm -hmm. Gotta come through here. Um, you can brew and steam at the same time. In fact, all these machines you can brew and steam at the same time. Let's take a look at the Apartamento in a moment. That's a heat exchange uh, boiler machine. Oop, got to raise that up. But really, really nice steaming power on these on this machine. Always purge your wand out, especially when you're on the video because somebody sees you don't do it. Yeah, you're, you're, you're in trouble. Whoops! I guess I missed there. God, you could have pushed that in. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's on camera today. Moment of truth. No pressure, Todd. Yeah, it's going to taste good. Not bad. Okay, Not bad. so uh, that's the that's the uh, Pro 700. Really nice machine. Very nice machine. Okay. Oh no, I'm making a mess here. Okay, <laughs> let's talk, go back to the rockets for just a second yeah. here. So this this is these are really cool. We, this is a whole latte love thing we're doing. We're adding on the knobs. With the wood, and I'm making a big mess here. Yeah, we're adding on the coffee mess. And like, look at the wood panels on this. On the, uh, we put some wood inside the Apartmento, mm -hmm. make that really attractive. We have a few of these in stock. Uh, we'll be making more. So if you want to get some of those, please feel free to get them while they're here. And again, the rockets with the wood are going to come with a bottomless portafilter and a Barista Pro Nanotech basket. Really love these baskets. They're a little different. They don't have ridges inside. The holes are really engineered. And with that Nanotech coating, they really do stay very clean and produce a nice shot. Um, so why don't I, I'll pull a shot over here on the Apartmento, huh? So why don't you do that? Why don't you talk a little bit about the E6P here? Yeah, great grind. Yeah, go ahead, go yeah. ahead. Uh, got a single shot or double shot you can program in, on this. And let me show you what the grinds look like. Right now, I know you're watching, if you're watching this video now, the deals on these are amazing. May not be the same when you look at this three months or four right, months from now, but. Right, but we do have some real specials on this right now. This is a really high quality grinder right here. This thing will last, this will last you a lifetime. Yeah. You know, full commercial motor in it. Um, the E5P is similar, except these are programmable. The E5P has a little button out there, and your portafilter pushes on it to operate turn it on and off. Right. And that, I think, is going for a really good price right now. So uh, if you're shopping. But really, it, really good go. values on the E6P. That's the V2. Mm -hmm. um, again, fantastic grind. It's got a lot of the Chiato innovations in there and just does a lovely grind. But I'm going to go back over here, since I've got this grinder kind of okay. set up for the Apartamento. Right we'll go back to the 270WI again. Um, this one I really like too. You know, for home use, this is good. It's not prosumer level. Uh, so I'm going to do that 17 grams. And we'll see if, see if it learned at all since last time. And 16.8, but two tenths of a gram, that's pretty darn good. So we'll get that in there. You know, I'll, I'll use the old school. I'll just tamp this time with a nice rocket tamper. Clean that up. Just going to get a little bit of that overheated water out of there. Yeah, so this, this is a heat exchange non-PID machine. Right, so you so do a little cooling flush on this. Something cooling like the flush. Pro 500 by Profitech, you don't really have to do a cooling flush. That's a PID machine. Yep. It's pretty much ready to, ready to go, right? So when you look at the machines, you know, we're showing some of our favorites up here, but the Pro yeah. 500 is definitely one of our favorites by Profitech. Yes, the Pro so 500, if you want to go PID, that's a great way to go. No flushing required with that yeah. one. Really nice build quality with that. And I guess I was, I was pretty pretty close in the uh, grind between the two here. Yeah. Not a bad deal. Yeah. And again, really nice crema on that. Love that, and of course, I'm, I'm ready for a little. So. Okay. Why don't you enjoy that, and I'll show the little close-up on the... Uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be careful you don't go too far with these today. On the E37S, we call it the SQ. Yeah. Uh, now, here, 
with this one, actually we talked to Shadow. We wanted to have an extra shot button here, so he, extra option. So we have for a single shot, a double shot, and then we have what they call extra shot. So the three different levels you can program here. When I say levels, it's time. So this one's set for 1.6 seconds, 3.8, and 4.5. And your portafilters, they lock, they lock right in here. Now you can set this so that the grinder will do that time automatically, or you can have it so it, sh it, sh um, it doesn't shut off, and you can actually more of a manual. And you can just, so you can bump it. So if you want to bump, get a little more, yeah, you can set little, it up to do that. If you're a short. And the grind adjustment up here, it's got this worm gear. Very sweet. Look at the quality on this. Okay, so that's very nice. You can do super fine tuning. And let's say you set your, your dial it in so you have a perfect espresso. Okay, let's see, you can set that one that lines up with that. And then now you have a point of reference. And you can turn as much or as little as you want. That's a re I really like that quick set adjustment. Chattel kind of doesn't like it when we call it a worm gear there, right? They don't. But, but it is using a worm gear. Um, sure. And a lot of other, we see that on a lot of other grinders yeah. now. And People now, are starting to use that. Yep. Now, Tony from Fuego is going to be in later. And he local, uses uh, local, local cafe. Really great guy. He's a roaster. And he's going to show you. He has this in his cafe, these, and he loves them. He had the Mel Koenig. He put this in, and he was really happy. So... Yeah. Um, he'll be in later. I don't know what time, but Mark may know. I don't know. <laughs> so I think it's this afternoon. So just a <laughs> reminder, um, what was I going to remind? Oh, uh, if you have any questions, we're more than happy to take those. We do have the lovely Amanda over there monitoring the feed so she can relay your questions and we can, there's Amanda. Hi, Hi Amanda. there. <laughs> <laughs> so she can relay the questions in. We can answer them right here live if you're watching us live. Mm -hmm. Um, and get those. I do also want to talk about some of our uh, features. Like, so the bundler, let's take a look at the bundler here. So this is where you can put together products like a machine and a grinder, like the E6P, which we have some great yeah. deals on today. Um, oh, so here's, so, oh, that was a peek at our AR. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Yeah. Another, another really cool feature. Uh, but in the bundler, what you can do is you can choose like a machine, a grinder, and some accessories. So there you go. Uh, that's a R58, right? Um, no, and then if you maybe chose, oh, that's Pro 700. I'm sorry, I'm kind Put of far away. <laughs> so you can add that 270WI to it. Uh, there's a, that's a Eureka grinder. Uh, the, oh, there's one with a worm gear, right? That was a prop deck. This, there's is all, a, this is all real sized. That's, so yes. this is a good comparison. So you get a real size comparison. Um, you can see this, you know, you're racking up some savings down below there. So you can choose, you know, a port of filter. We've also got coffees, and all these are curated selections because all everybody who works here is, is a real coffee expert. Most of our, mm -hmm. uh, most people you talk to on the phone, and if you want to talk to them on the phone, you can do that. Um, they're all baristas, very familiar with all the products and machines, um, so you can do that. But also, let's take a look at some of the uh, 3D and AR, right? So. We've worked really yes. hard, our web developing yeah. team, they've yeah. worked really hard to put this together where you can see machines in three dimensions. So yeah. if you're you on can sit, You can sit right on your counter. Yeah. And then you can move around and see all sides of it. So this is actually, so there's that 3D. So you can do that pretty much on any device. Then you hit that little button down there. And if you have a compatible uh, smartphone or tablet, you can put the machine right on your counter in real size. You can walk around it, check it out, see it's, not there, but it's there. Right? Yeah. This, is, this is really cool stuff. So if you want to get an idea of what the product's going to look like in your home, um, you can do this you know, on your counter, on your table, wherever. Um, that's really neat to be able to get that. And you can walk right around a product, see it front, back, top, um, whatever you want. So um, again, we are taking questions. And I think, do we have one? Amanda, yes. Hi. Uh, yes, we do. From Skipper Brown, he is looking at the R58, and he wants to know what would be the recommendation between a Rocket Faustino, Chiado E6P, or the Brazza Sette 270WI. <laughs> hmm. Boy, you picked some good grinders there. Yeah. <laughs> it also depends on how much you want to spend also. Yeah, I, well, a couple things I can say about that. So the 270WI, number one, Baratza makes really nice products. They've really nailed it with this. If you want to take the weight right out of the equation, you know, you just pop your portafilter in, 
and grind and you're going to get within you know one or two tenths every single time you don't even have to think about it but it is an appliance grade grinder i mean if you were really using this a lot i might suggest i would suggest something more but i will also say Barazza has a great program where they have a single flat rate repair price if something should mm -hmm. ever happen, not that it would. But this is not at the same level as the E6P, right? Mm -hmm. um, this is a conical burr. It's very fast. It's also a little louder um, than, than other grinders just because of its straight through design. Um, big 63 millimeter burrs in here. Mm -hmm. um, and a, a really nice grind. But this is one you're gonna get and it's gonna go for decades. I don't know that I would really say that about the Barazza, but it's a fine, fine grinder. No, we right? haven't killed it yet. And if you really want to go, so if you want to move up to the uh, E37S with a quick set, mm -hmm. uh, very, very quiet, lovely grind, and you go into those massive 83 millimeter burrs. Yeah. I think, I'm sorry, I think I said 63, 64 on this, yeah. 83 on that. Okay. Okay. Um, He's the spec man. Yeah, I, I try and keep these all in there. Yeah. Um, so yeah. hope but that this, helps. This is a commercial quality grinder. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you will never, never have to worry about that mm -hmm. at all. You gotta love the quick set adjustment on that too. Oh, also, uh, one thing about this Chiato grinder this is like three screws, you're in there, you can clean it out if you wanted to oh, that with, is a nice without yeah. losing uh, your grind size setting. Yeah. Um, so if you're the kind that's going to go in there, you're going to switch coffees around and you want to make sure that you're getting, you know, the absolute freshest possible. Um, yeah. That's great. Also, this is going to be very low retention. It's not a, Chiato does make the SD version of the E37S, mm -hmm. which is a single doser. So if you're, you know, really, really, really at the high end and you mm -hmm. want a single dosing grinder, go there. But you can do that with this and it is low retention. Yeah, you did a good video showing that. Yeah. On the so how low retention it really is. Yeah, it's below half a gram of retention, which mm -hmm. is when you get into like those 17, 18 gram doses is, you know, just a couple percent. Mm -hmm. And if somebody can taste a couple percent of, you know, uh, something you ground 10 minutes ago, I want to talk to you because you're special. Yeah, so like the next you morning when you come and use it, just kind of bump it. Now you got fresh coffee. Yeah, it's beautiful. But if you just want to throw 18 grams of beans in there, you could do that. Mm -hmm. And you're probably going to get pretty close to 18 out as well. So you can single dose with that. Mm -hmm. Um, anything else we want to cover here, or do we have any other questions? No, no questions okay. at this point. Well, I think uh, just I want to review again for anybody that's just clicking yeah. on uh, the wood rockets here. There's something we do here. It's uh, I guess I call it a whole latte love exclusive. Mm -hmm. um, the Partmento, really, whoop, really beautiful. You can see the wood panels on this. We do that here. We have a few of these in stock, so if you want them, you know, go ahead and grab them. Well, we will be we will be making more. And we do have a lot of other options here as far as colors oh, yeah. through the little holes here. So you yeah. get all, all kinds of things. If you check out the website, many, many, many different options there. Um, and again, if you go with any of the wood accented rockets, a couple specials you're going to get. Not, not the Jack Leveler, but you should get one of these. But we do have those in wood. Um, but you're also going to get the bottomless porta filter. Oh, there's all the, thank you, AJ. There's all the different sorts of rocket apartmento styling you can get. Um, and again, if you go with the wood, you're going to get the uh, bottomless portafilter mm -hmm. with the wood handle, yep. um, as well as a Barista Pro Nanotech basket. Mm -hmm. Really love these baskets, and the wood accents yeah. are, are really, really nice. Yeah, we do have some Pizarro ones, machines with some wood. They're also yeah. nice machines. They've been very, very popular with the wood, yeah, they, I, the wood accented machines. Woods. They are pretty cool looking. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you have any questions, our customer service salespeople on the phone, they're very familiar with, and they can help you out. Yep. So, any other questions? Um, not that you guys have up there right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I just want to go through, you know, what we offer here at Whole Latte Love. So let's take a look at that real quick. Um, a couple special things. Got that free shipping on purchases over 50 bucks. We've been doing this for 20 years. Um, Actually, I just hit my 20 year anniversary this you year. You did? All yeah. right. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, we've got the latte reward. So what, when you make a purchase, you're going to get 2% back basically on that purchase. Um, you use that for coffee, accessories, you know, different things. We do offer financing um, and we've got extended warranty. So on these machines, right, on the prosumer levels, we're going there are three years on, on these. I think they all have three years parts labor. You'll see that on the website. Yeah, yeah. so you check by machine. Most of the, at this level, you're going to have a three, that's best in the business, really. Uh -huh. Three years parts and labor on that. 
Um, do check out the bundler. We have the curated selections there. So grinders that work with a particular machine, accessories that'll work well with a particular machine. Of course, the expert customer service. You can give them a call right now. They're, you know, we got a bunch of uh, baristas out on the phone right now, 585-924-7170. If you have questions, they can help you out. And we're very proud of our 4.9 uh, out of five rating on Trustpilot for the website. Mm -hmm. So we've worked very, very hard at that. Um, so with that, I think, are we good? I'm good. Okay. So we, we are going to come back in about a half an hour. We're going to take a deeper look at flow control. We saw a little bit of that on the 700. Yeah. Uh, what other machines is that available on right now? Uh, the Pro 600, the Pro 500, ECM Synchronica, and we're going to show you the Della Corte Mina ah. flow control machine, which is really sweet. That's, that's a big boy. Yeah. 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 But that's really cool. That, that flow control, it really gives you the ability to mimic other machines. Mm -hmm. So if you've heard of like Slayer Shots or La Marzocco GS3, with the flow control, you can do that on other machines do and on the Mina. That and more. And yeah, really, really cool stuff. So uh, we do thank you for watching. We'll be back at 11 Eastern for more on flow control.